What's up guys, Chris Dalek sitting out here uh, <clears throat> out front of my job waiting to start the day listening to some news and I, I wanted to touch a little bit on this gas price thing. Welcome to the Chris Dalek show. Um, gas price hike thing and, and blaming Putin and Russia for it. You know, I'm getting sick of it because I mean, uh, I even threw a poll on our, our Facebook group page, uh, which is brand new. Go check that out. Uh, join it give you the links to everything uh, that this show appears on and uh, you know events like this Wednesday where I'm gonna do a live Facebook live uh, connection and everything so you know go check that out but I wanted to touch base on this real quick it probably be a very short video especially since I got to go to work here soon uh, which cost me money to do anyway but uh, yeah the overall blaming a Putin or uh, as Jen Psaki was trying to say a couple days ago it's also the uh, the oil companies and and uh, corporations basically gouging us. Duh, duh. Like I, Putin, Putin is a is a straw man. That's a, that's a that's a lie. Uh, plain and simple, Putin's war may have a little bit of an effect on on uh, the gas prices with Ukraine and everything, especially since we were dumb enough to to fucking get oil from Russia, but. Putin is not the reason why gas is up to five to seven dollars an hour, depending or five to seven dollars a gallon, not an hour. <laughs> it's about to be five to seven dollars an hour. Um, you know, depending on where you live in the country, uh, because gas prices automatically started rising, inflation started uh, started uh, going up, especially in the oil industry. Day one that Biden took office. Day one, as soon as he closed the Keystone Pipeline and and domestic uh, closed down domestic uh, avenues of, of energy uh, in in favor of foreign oil and foreign uh, connections, we already started to see the increase in gas prices and everything else. Now, like I said, duh on the uh, oil company. Of course, they're gouging us. That's what the federal government's for. They're supposed to turn around and regulate that. They're supposed to stop them from being able to do that. But they won't because somebody lined the right pockets. Of course, part of this inflation and in, in, in gas and, and subsequently the gas and oil it causes everything else to rise and increase is because of, of gouging, but it is not because of Putin. At least... Uh, if I were to give it an arbitrary number, I would say 50% of the increase would be the oil companies gouging. I would say, no, no, I would go even less. I would say 30% is oil oil companies gouging. I would say 10% may be the Putin war. But 60% is Joe Biden and the Democratic Party. Let's not lie. It's the God's honest truth. We've been raising prices ever since he took office. And it's taken a hell of a spike because they now have a, 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 a puppet that they can blame in Putin. Oh, we could blame this now so nobody will pay attention to the fact. Look at this hand while the other hand's doing the magic trick. That's what they're doing. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of news feeds and everything else constantly trying to fit everything else. And I'm sick of people being dumb enough. And yes, I'm talking to you people if you're dumb enough to believe that this is vladimir putin's fault or mainly or solely putin's fault that that we're suffering at the gas pumps and subsequently suffering in the, in the grocery markets and everything else because of vladimir putin seriously i want some of the drugs you're on because you're an idiot and that's my thoughts see you later